Hey guys, so today is the day before I leave for Ghana. I'm all packed up, I'm basically ready to go. You would think I'll be excited, right? Guys, unfortunately, that's not the case. My emotions are just all over the place, like, I don't even know how to feel. But I feel jittery. I'm scared like I just don't know how to feel like my emotions are just kind of just a mess right now um, and I think it's because every time that I've been to Ghana it's been like you know for a short period of time and then I'm back here but this feels a little bit like Oh, you're not coming back for a long time this is gonna be different are you gonna cope like you know all those little fears just keep popping up in my mind but at the same time I am excited because around this period is party time you know so that gives me time to settle and get my thoughts together once I arrive guys I've had a very very difficult year I feel like looking on social media a lot of people may have experienced similar for some reason and I'm actually still dealing with some of the emotions from some of the things that happened um, this year up until now. I can legitimately count how many full night sleeps I've had this year. And that's part of the reason why I'm so excited to be in Ghana, to do something different, to just um, have a good time really, just have a laid back life and not be too stressed for a little while, you know? But all in all, I'm super grateful. There's still so much that I have to be thankful for. My health has been great. I've had a job all the way through the year. Um, you know, I've had my finances have been great. I've been able to save my YouTube channel is going well, even though I haven't been able to upload as often as I would like to. So for all those things, I'm super grateful. The main thing I wanted to talk about in this video was, you know, being be becoming comfortable with the uncomfortable i think that is like one of the most important things that has worked out for me personally i think for me um a lot of the time if i have a thought of doing something even if i'm nervous or i'm embarrassed about it i'll just go ahead and do it regardless even though i'm nervous i just have that attitude and i feel like that has helped to bring me a lot of blessings for example my youtube channel like if you look at my really old videos which i never deleted they're all still there you can tell how nervous i was but for some reason because i really had a message that i wanted to share i just went ahead and filmed videos and made videos for you guys because it was important to me and I feel like it's paid off so much because now I have this beautiful community of people that watch me, that know me from nowhere but really care about me. And I also am able to make some money on YouTube with what feels like no effort because I actually really enjoy making videos for you guys. And it's something that I'll continue to do regardless of if anyone watches me or not, you know? Um, the other thing is like when I was at uni, I absolutely detested presentations, like I hated them. On days when I had presentations, I would physically start to feel ill, but I knew it was just my fear um, that's like making me feel that way. And I always had the option to like call in sick, because if you call in sick, what happens is you get to do the presentation with just your lecturer and it's just the two of you. So it's so much easier, but I never took that option. Like for some reason, I always would just go in and just do it regardless. And it paid off so, so much. And I'm so grateful that I did it at the time. When I say it's paid off, like I've developed this ability to just speak to a 
a group of people and appear like I'm not nervous even though I'm like dying inside and that's a great skill to have especially for me because I like to you know I like to share my message with different people you know what I mean so it's it's absolutely been helpful in that aspect anyways guys what I'm driving at is if you guys want anything positive any big changes any um, thing to do with business anything to do with like developing skills and stuff like that you would have to learn to get comfortable with the uncomfortable and obviously um, having the skill is part of the reason why making this big decision to go to Ghana for such a long period of time hasn't been that much of a big deal to me yes it's been scary but at the same time that's not enough to be like if that's not enough for me to be like nah I'm not going any longer you know what I mean so I just wanted to share this little message with you guys and I hope you guys start to consider um, getting out of your comfort zone and doing different things and you know learning to enjoy things that are uncomfortable anyways if you're wondering what I'm cooking this is like a corned beef and egg stew and I'm going to be making Gary photo with it it turns out delicious Let me know in the comment section guys if you're excited to follow my journey and come along with me to Ghana and see how I settle and how I set up myself over there because I would love to you know do this with somebody you know it's always easier when you have a group of people supporting you so let me know in the comments section below if that's the case thank you so much for watching up to this point of the video I really appreciate it and guys don't forget to follow your bliss now life is short follow your bliss follow your bliss and follow your bliss Take care guys. Thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye